Hello guys, what is going on? This is Shrimp4 Home, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the first steps of becoming a web developer. This video will mainly be concerning the front-end web developer. So if you want to be front-end, this video will kind of put you out on the right track and steer you into some nice resources. So what you're going to need to learn for front-end web development is JavaScript, HTML, CSS, jQuery. Now just know that JavaScript is a programming language, HTML and CSS are programming languages, and they're fairly easy. And jQuery is a JavaScript library that makes programming all the easier. You don't need to learn jQuery, but learning jQuery will make your JavaScript a lot more easier to work with, and it's fairly nice for beginners to, you know, get up to mark with building web applications fairly quick and easily. So that's basically the stuff you're going to want to need to learn. Um, yeah, then you're going to want to obtain a text editor. Now, web development is heavily focused on text files, so you're going to want a good text file editor, one that preferably highlights code, makes it easy to read, so I use Sublime Text too. Once you have it installed, you're going to notice it looks really pretty. It's got a lot of nice colors, and at the side it's got this really cool code view thing that just makes a really long piece of code really easy to navigate. Then you're going to want to join GitHub. Now, GitHub is basically like a Facebook slash social network for coders because you get to code together with other people, and you get to share projects, and it's good because if you have a big project, you can always get help from other people. Not to mention it's free. Then you're going to want to learn to code. Now, learning to code, I'm going to be showing you guys some tutorials later on. However, there's a website called Code Academy, which shows you a lot of, which gives you a lot of help. Anyway, now we have JS Fiddle. Now, JS Fiddle, um, for most beginners, should be a good integrated development environment you should use because it has your JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, and your output all in one page where you can mess around with everything. And it's really good for beginners to understand how all three of these things contribute to making a good web application. Uh, so yeah, you just want to mess around with that. Then you're going to want to install Google Chrome if you haven't already. Even if you're not a web developer, Google Chrome is awesome. It's lightning fast and I love it. So yeah, you're going to want to install that. But if you're a web developer, there's this thing called Chrome Dev Tools, which allows you to inspect a page and it allows you to do all sorts of cool stuff with it, like change it around and see, see how it affects everything. And, and with that, Google Chrome is just really nice. And with that, moving on to Stack Overflow. Now, Stack Overflow is your number one source for getting help with your programming questions because there's a live community that's pretty nice at helping you. And with that, that's what you're going to need to begin being a front-end web developer. Thanks for watching.